Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video I thought I'd do something a little bit different. We're still in lockdown here in the UK and we can't travel very far to uh, go to any new locations. So I thought I'd basically um, just explain to you how I got into landscape photography and give you a little bit more information about myself and uh, the journey that I've been on in the first two years of uh, taking up landscape photography. Just before we get into that though, if you could please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell and that will alert you to any new videos that I post. Also, I really appreciate a like and a comment down below. I'll definitely get back to your comments. Yeah, so let's go back to 2019 now and I'll explain where it all started. Okay, so it all started for me in February 2019 with a trip to North Wales, where we planned to go up to the summit of Mount Snowdon. We followed the Lamberis Trail, we had the family with us, we had some fantastic weather and um, it was a really good achievement, we managed to do it. And along the way, I took my D3100 and I was taking images all the way along when we got back home i had a look at them and i was really impressed with what i'd taken and um, it really sort of brought back the memories of the achievement and the day that we had so this really inspired me to uh, start taking more photographs of our uh, walks that we did and um, you know we did do plenty of walks we've uh, walked around the Yorkshire dales we've done uh, walks around the uh, lake district and i really wanted to start documenting the landscapes around us not only to take good images but also to uh, make a record of the experiences that we had on those days, which I think is really important. Okay, so after coming back from North Wales, I thought I'd uh, visit my local waterfall and uh, put the camera into manual mode and get some really good images. I thought it'd be as simple as that. So as you can see from my first image that I captured here, it was definitely not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. So that's when I jumped onto YouTube and started uh, researching about how to use your camera and uh, in particular for landscape photography. This is when I come across YouTubers like Nigel Danson, Thomas Heaton, First Man Photography and uh, others and um, I really learned a lot and got a lot of inspiration from these guys. So after getting all this inspiration from these guys I went out throughout 2019 to different locations and uh, basically put my uh, knowledge into practice each time sort of improving one little aspect of um, photography so I've been working on maybe getting the depth of field right or trying different shutter speeds, um, things like that, you know, just basically going slow and trying to improve step by step, really getting a good grounding on the knowledge of um, how to use a camera and how to take the perfect exposure. And then also trying to improve in the art of photography in terms of the compositions and uh, looking for leading lines and using the rule of thirds and things like that. Just trying to put little bits in place every time and trying to improve step by step. So here's some of the images that I took from a local reservoir through that period. And um, as you can see, looking pretty good and uh, definitely seeing improvement over the year. So as I was watching more and more photography vlogs throughout 2019, I really started to enjoy watching the process of these photographs being taken, especially like watching them walking through the environment, explaining the conditions they're in and showing the conditions they're in in the videos. And I really felt this was um, quite a big part of the uh, image itself. And um, obviously photography is more about just capturing the image. It's also about experiencing the environment you're in and basically getting outdoors into nature and enjoying the whole process of taking the image from the planning stage through to the execution on location and also the editing process um, at the end of it. And I think it's really important to remember that it's just more than the photograph and it's obviously about the whole experience of photography from start to finish. And I really enjoyed that. So at the start of 2020, I thought I'm gonna set out and start vlogging my adventures and basically explaining to people and showing people how I was capturing images and um, obviously the environments I were in and giving them all the information they needed to obviously start photography themselves if they wanted, if they were a beginner like myself and uh, hopefully inspire some people to get out there and uh, do some photography and maybe even start vlogging like myself. So at the start of 2020, just before all the pandemic uh, kicked off, um, we were able to go to the Lake District. We had like a long weekend booked and uh, our plan was to walk up the old man of Coniston and have a look around there. But uh, unfortunately it was um, a really wet and windy uh, weekend. Um, even though we set off in dry conditions up to the Old Man of Coniston, we only got about halfway up to the sort of machinery houses, if you've ever been on that route, and um, basically we had to turn back due to the wind and rain, and um, I didn't really manage to get any images or anything, it was really clogged in, and um, the conditions were just too wet for filming, it was absolutely chucking it down, it was really windy, so that first vlog was a bit of a failure to be honest with you, but you know, I made the most of it, and we sort of enjoyed the weekend anyway. But uh, as soon as I got home, um, a couple of weeks later, I went out and uh, set out to basically film my first vlog. And I went out to my local 
um, area within the uh, Yorkshire Dales National Park which is Malham. It's a really nice location now there's plenty of um, things to shoot around there. There's waterfalls, there's the cove itself which is a massive limestone sort of cliff face and um, there's also Gordale Scar which is um, a really nice sort of gorge which has been carved out by the um, by the stream that's up there. And um, I went to this location, I did my first vlog from there. Again, I just got some filters, so I went crazy with the filters and I tried to uh, basically um, long expose everything and get everything smoothed out, all the water in the waterfalls, all the clouds in the sky around the lone tree. And um, went to town on that, which a lot of beginners do, but um, you know, you've got to go through that process, I think, of um, going to the extreme and then you realise that actually, um, you know, less is more and you've got to try and uh, sort of come back a little bit with those uh, with those tools and just rein them in a little bit to produce the best results. So yeah, I created my first vlog there, which was um, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed editing and filming that afterwards. And unfortunately, a couple of weeks after that, the um, pandemic hit and the lockdown came in. And uh, through the spring of 2020, uh, vlogging was pretty much non-existent due to uh, restrictions being in place, not being able to get out anywhere. But um, I wanted to still obviously improve my knowledge of the camera and uh, try out different techniques. So from the back garden, I tried out some different um, techniques in photography that I'd be interested in. One being uh, astrophotography, and um, I set up the um, camera on the tripod and. Um, it was while there was a meteor shower, I can't quite think, Perseoid meteor shower it was. So um, I set up the camera to try and um, capture some of those in um, like a time lapse. And basically I uh, had to play around with that and create some nice um, star trail images and got some nice time lapses, which is um, which is really fun. And we sort of sat out and tried to uh, watch all these meteors coming through, which we did see quite a few. Um, I also did some um, sort of freeze frame photography. I tried to use some really fast shutter speeds to um, see what I can come up with. And we got some balloons and we had um, them filled with water. We tried to capture them being popped and see what kind of effects we could come up with. And not having a flash, I had to use um, basically a white piece of um, cardboard to reflect the light back into the scene and uh, choose a really sunny day as well. So there was enough light to um, enable me to get a really fast shutter speed. And um, again, we had a bit of fun with that and it was good for the kids. And um, you know, learned quite a lot about the camera. Again, just sort of improving my knowledge there. So we did uh, little things like that. So just at the start of summer, the lockdowns um, sort of eased and you was permitted to travel any distance to uh, basically exercise. So we headed off to the Lake District to Derwent Water, where we planned to uh, walk around the uh, outside of the uh, lake and also up to Cat Bells, which is a, a summit on the side of the lake. And um, we managed to take some really nice images around there and we had a really nice day even though it did rain at the top of the summit we still really enjoyed ourselves and it's um, somewhere that we're definitely back to this year hopefully and I definitely recommend it to anybody who's wanting to uh, go to Lake District and do some photography. It's a really good location to go to and um, it's a really good uh, sort of 10 mile walk that's it's spot on. So then August came and we had a week booked in Wales um, basically we had to take this holiday due to the lockdowns being released and we would have lost our money otherwise. So we headed off to Wales and I thought I'd try and get uh, four or five vlogs in while we were there. We did have plenty of routes planned in the mountain passes and things. Um, basically um, we sort of cancelled that and changed them due to basically seeing all the videos on YouTube of um, the amount of tourists going to these locations. We thought it was just going to be way too busy so we stuck to some quieter locations such as the beaches where we knew we could spread out. I managed to capture some really nice lighthouse images and um, basically try out some different techniques there, long exposure and things like that. And also we went to some of the more quieter locations and walks, we sort of researched those, we got in early, parked up properly and uh, we headed off around these trails where we knew it would be a little bit quieter. So it was really good to try and experience and explore um, some of the lesser known locations around Wales rather than heading to the uh, sort of popular places where we knew it would be really busy. So we've come to the back end of 2020 now in the autumn and um, due to the lockdowns being a lot more strict I basically stayed a lot more local and uh, mainly shot in my local woodland which is just literally five minutes down from where I live and I've been there in the autumn and uh, just recently in the winter to capture the uh, really fantastic snow conditions that we had there and um, again that was really fun just um, sort of doing something different 
and uh, capturing these snowy conditions. So I do really hope you've enjoyed this video and um, it's not something I normally do, I do like to get out and about in the field and take photographs but uh, I just thought I'd make this to explain a little bit more about myself and what's inspired me to take up landscape photography and the things that I've been doing um, over the first couple of years of this new hobby and uh, hopefully this year I'll be able to get out and about and uh, get to some new locations and start vlogging again and taking images and um, if you could stick with me that'd be really good and obviously it's difficult for everybody at the moment but um, you know it's going to be difficult to make vlogs and keep this channel uh, as frequent as I would like but um, I'd really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that when I do post my next video you'll be uh, notified and um, if you want to ask me any questions or anything about the gear that I'm using or any sort of tips if you're a beginner in photography then uh, please leave them in the comments down below and um, I'll try to answer them best I can. So until the next vlog, bye for now.